Okay, so I'm going to cover fixing uh, visual effects uh, post patch 6.5. Um, so I'm sure many have realized that with patch 6.5, several visual effects have um, become broken, uh, just broken. Um, really weird looking squares and stuff. And the reason for this is because the developers changed several base game uh, visual effect texture paths. Um, so the first thing you need is a texture pack from before uh, patch 6.5. And uh, this one was provided to me uh, courtesy of Papa Chin. And uh, it was originally meant to be a mod, but it or at least just like a temporary fix until we could all get our visual effects fixed. Um, and, but apparently it was causing a lot of issues with Mare, so it was taken down. Um, but that's, I digress. Um, so this pack is available through my reference folder. Um, it'll be, there'll be a link at the, below the video for um, downloading it. It'll download as a zip or as a, a, a zip drive, and then you just extract it. So uh, what you'll see in here is you'll find some files. But you'll find the VFX folder, and here are all the folders from before patch 6.5. So my monster. Let's see. random texture. So as you can see, here's a bunch of .atex files. Um, the reason these are helpful as opposed to just having like a PNG file or anything like that is these already have the settings for when you import uh, an ATX or an ATX file. So you don't have to worry about the import settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and a few, I had a file path that broke with 6.5 in uh, Archangel. So uh, I'll choose that one. So here's a broken texture file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and import. And I'll go to folder. I'm just, file, I'm just following this file path right here. And so it's under monster, under M0285, uh, texture, and then it's NJ flash 0F. Past it. There we are. Okay, so now that's important. So here, this one is now technically fixed because it's at a file path that the game no longer uses. So it could be used as a custom one. But what I want to do is I want to future proof this. And in order to do that, I need to uh, get all of my visual effect files into the editor so that I can work on them all at once. So I'm going to load that all up here for this ability. I'll just make sure the paths match. And C two T. Okay. So as you can see, none of these broke. But I don't want them to possibly break in the future. So Ocelot has added this very helpful tool because they are always adding things and making it so much easier on us. Um, so this convert texture tool will convert the file paths of all my visual effect textures. So as you can see here, I've already entered a name here. It's important that you use lowercase. You don't want to use uppercase. Uppercase may work in Penumbra, but it will not work in Textiles. So lowercase is just um, a good rule of thumb to use. So I just named it the uh, name of the 
mod. And so that will apply to all of the other textures, except for the one that I've already made technically a custom path for. To fix this one, I have to fix this one manually. So I'm going to open textures, and it's right here at the top. And I'm going to just manually enter it. So now I'm going to copy that and paste it here. So now it should match all of these. I should update. As you can see, they're they should all be fixed now. So let me test this. Having a problem with one of them still. Oh, because I have a mod loaded with the wrong file in it. Sorry. So I'm going to just export this and I'll update my mod pack with it. Then I can re import it and retest it. So, mod create advanced mod pack. And just flood of shadow, flood of darkness. Oh, I need to actually export it. how you fix file paths that were broken and how you future proof against uh, future breaks. Um, and yeah, any information or reference files or folders, you can find it in my Google Drive uh, that the folder that I'm pulling the ATX from, uh, that will be up in there. Um, I don't plan on ever taking it down. Because it, since it has all the base and previous ones uh, before they started doing these changes, so that that's going to be very helpful for a lot of people. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can always message me on my Discord uh, or uh, try the Students of Valdezian Discord server.